So today I'm going to do a demonstration on a hardwood floor protein powder and on some crushed chips. And also do the same on some carpeted with the same protein powder and crushed chips to see which one performs better. I'll start with the eye life. As you saw, it didn't get everything perfectly. It probably got around like maybe 80% of the debris. As you can see, it mainly got within the two lines right here. The middle had a bit of trouble going down here. But for the chips, it, also, it picked up a little bit more chips, I would say. But it did push around a lot of the other chips. So I would say this is good for kind of light debris. If you have something heavy like this, it's not going to be able to pick it all up completely and might push around some other stuff. So now with the shark. As you can see, it didn't do a straight line. It basically went this way to get a lot of more surface area, I would assume, and more of the debris. Uh, but as you can see, the part that it did go over, basically everything got through. I can feel maybe like 5%, 3% of protein powder left, so it didn't get a, a completely, but I would say it did quite a good job. Dare I say even excellent. So we'll try again on the chips right here. As you can see, the kind of little fins to the side, they push around some of the ch uh, chips, uh, like over there and over there, but not nearly as bad as the eye life. In terms of the pickup ability, I would say basically, I would say basically it picked it up all. It went around this way, and the parts that it did go over, I don't really see a single chip, so I gotta give it hands down to the shark. It did quite a good job when it comes to the hard uh, floor pickup. Next for the carpet, I'll start with the eye life. And as you saw, it did one pass going over there and it kind of swooped the uh, chips. It didn't get all of the chips, obviously, but for the path that it did go on, because it went here and kind of over there, so it didn't get a chance to get the chips up there. But for the area that it did go through, I can still obviously see some chips right here. So it maybe got around like 80%. And also for the uh, protein powder, I think it got around like maybe 60% or maybe 70% because there was quite a bit of protein powder over here. Just like in this spot, this is especially saturated with protein powder. So it did a pretty, I guess, decent job. It obviously didn't get uh, it all. Next is the shark. As you can see, it went over here. Now it's going over there. It's doing a complete job. You see the area that it did go through basically picked up all of the uh, debris. Now it's coming back around to pick up the chips. As you can see, that did quite a good job. Uh, it was a little bit different because I went around the whole area. I think there's some detection underneath for this AI robot that it knows what kind of debris it is. So it spends a little bit more time going through the kind of rougher areas. That is an advantage uh, for this versus this. So you're gonna have a bit more intelligence with this Roomba. But in terms of the kind of pickup ability, it went here for one pass, so this spot is only one pass. As you can see, there's still some protein powder, but quite a bit less for, versus the eye life. This is around like maybe 10%, 15% left. But for the chips, any path that it did go on, it got all of the chips. So for any bigger debris, this thing is king. So yes, in terms of which one has a better pickup, definitely the shark. Next, we'll go through detection. First off, edge detection, so it won't fall off the edges, and also see how it detects the walls around it. As you can see, it did not fall through. It saw the wall, it turned around, bumped the Roomba or the robot. Saw the wall. Saw the robot, it did not hit the robot. Same with that, it did not hit the wall. Oh, it got close to hitting the wall. It slows down when it sees an object. Slows down, does not hit it. Same again, I think that is good enough. So as you can see, the detection on this is quite impressive for the price that you're um, getting for this. So we'll see how the shark does. It 
see it gets close to the wall, but it doesn't exactly hit it. Oh, it hit it that time. Hit it a little bit. But as you can see, it is not scraping the wall. It's getting real close to it. Same with that, it gets real close. I think it's hitting the robot right there. Real close. Yeah, it is not hitting the wall. As you can see, the edge detection is great. It does not want to fall off the edge. So as you saw, the edge detection on the Shark, it is also very good. But between the two, I would say the Shark is a little bit better because as you notice, when it got up to the wall, it could get further in and closer to the wall without hitting the wall. Whereas with the Life one, it kind of stopped shy of maybe an inch or two from the wall. So it's not gonna be able to pick up the dust right at the edges. Whereas the Shark one is able to pick up debris from the edges easy, easier. Next up is noise level. We'll do a hardwood floor first to see and compare. First up is the Shark. So as you saw, around 70 up close, but like around 65 when it is a little bit further away. Now we'll see the eye life. So when the eye life was around over there, it was around 62 to like 61. So like a little bit quieter than the um, shark. Next we'll do on the carpet cause it's usually quieter. So as you saw, around 65 up close and around 60 from over there. Next is the shark. So with the shark, it is around like 70 up close and around 65 when it is over there. So as you can see, speaking level is around 75, so it is quite loud, but with the extra noise, you get more suction. So I do think it is worth it, but for the category, it is louder, so I'm gonna have to give it to iLife. Next, we're gonna go over the features to see if they're similar or different. First of all, you have this power on and off button right here, and once it's on, you click on here to clean it, and that is it. You have a, a power button here and also return to dock button right here. How you empty the debris is from over here, clip it, comes on out, you clip it here, and there it is, all the debris. There's also an air filter right here where you can take on, on, slot out, you can clean this. To clean up on this one, you push it down, pops on up, you take this up, open it like so, you take the pre-filter out, and this is where you see the debris. You can also take the air filter out the back. It is not as big and it's not as uh, efficient. Coming around to the back, you see that there's uh, two spots for the uh, fin uh, bristles right here. One, two, and also two right here. But the bristles are a little bit uh, less impressive here, whereas this one's a quite a bit more impressive. But the pickup area is quite a bit bigger. This is maybe double the size of this one, so this is very good. Also, you can take this apart here, just like so, and you can take out the entire brush right here too to kind of clean it and detangle. Let's just take it out like that. These are the charging magnets, quite big, so you're not gonna miss them and accidentally not charge them. This is quite small, so you might accidentally not charge them. The wheels, this one, it is uh, they're playing about the same size. This one, this one may be a little bit bigger, actually. The wheel on the front is about just as smooth. There is one, two, three, four uh, kind of sensors here to not fall off, and also one, two, three sensors here. And lastly, the bumpers. Uh, the Shark one feels a little bit more sensitive than this one. This one feels a little bit uh, tougher to kind of push in. And lastly, this one has its own AI sensor. Basically, it's a camera that can see out, so that's why it has a little bit better detection versus this one. 
So overall, I think it is without a question, this one is a much better product, but it is cost quite a little bit more. So you gotta judge for yourself, is that rise in price worth it for the extra features and increased suction, the AI camera and the bigger bin. So all those you will have to decide. But overall, personally, I would definitely choose this. And lastly, we have the dock between the two. This is the iLife dock, nothing special. There is a charger right in between this. It has two, it has a rubberized feet, so it's not scratching your floor, and that's about it. This is the much more impressive Shark dock, where you charge it right here, but it also empties all the debris inside the vacuum for you. You pop this one out, you can see how full the uh, debris is. And you see quite a large capacity. You pop on out, and this is what it looks like from the inside. So there's quite a bit of filter in there. You open this up right here, you can see that there is a filter right in here and a secondary filter down in there. That is what it looks like. You come down here, you unlock this. There is also additional filter right in here as well. But this has saved me so much work and so much hassle by not have, having to empty the bin every time because you have to empty it maybe even once a day depending on how dirty your house is. So this thing, I probably uh, up to like a few weeks to up to like a month that I need to empty it, even longer sometimes, a uh, month or two. So that is very convenient and much less hassle.